Yes, we heard over the radio that uh, Dr. Chimaro Kenaman has been suspended, uh, uh, suspended by the PDP National Republican Committee. That's what we heard on the on the radio, and uh, in trying to find out why, because uh, I know Dr. Chimaro Kenaman, the leader of uh, the Great Ebano family, Ebano, which is one of the biggest um, political family, if not in the whole country. Because I'm yet to know any other political group that is bigger than uh, Ebano family. And he is the leader. He is the leader of that uh, group. And uh, for me to hear that he has been suspended, uh, it came to me as a, as a very big surprise because um, as a lawyer, I know that we have procedures for suspension, but not to speak more on this past. I feel we were supposed to have heard uh, when the procedures have been uh, uh, carried out, the procedures for the suspension have been carried out. But more shocking is when we begin to hear that it was not um, at least invited or written to you know, to inform him of uh, whatever uh, infraction that they, they said he committed. So it's shocking to me because I know and I, I trust the National Working Committee, they are men of a high integrity. So uh, I don't know why such a procedure, uh, why they should follow such procedure or they should uh, omit uh, the true procedure. When, when, sorry, let me cut in. When you say we need true procedure, can you tell us what is the procedure of suspending the party member as stipulated by PDP constitution? Yes, the PDP constitution provided and gave power to the National Worker Committee, gave them power to suspend anybody who they felt, uh, who they, uh, they, they discovered has committed some anti-party activities or some other uh, infractions in the party. They have the power to suspend that person. However, in doing that, the, the same law, PDP constitution, stated the procedures, the what and what you should do before you, you, you pronounce that uh, suspension. In the first instance, you are supposed to write or intimate the person, inform the, the person, the member, that social petition has been written against you. This is what has been written against you. And they will invite him to come and uh, explain. You know, they have to give him, uh, listen to him to explain why or the reason for whatever is, the person is doing. And uh, if such procedure is not done, even the PDP constitution clearly stated that whatever action that is taken at that time is null and, uh, and, vo and void. So you must invite the person, listen to the person, and ask him questions. Tell him why uh, why you wanted to suspend it. Once you fail to do that, you have uh, actually you have not even fulfilled the procedures of the law. Not if you go further, you know that our ground on the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria clearly stated it in Section 36 that there must be fair hearing. You cannot convict somebody without listening to that person. Let that person say his own part of the story. That is what the Constitution says. So any conviction that, that violates this um, principle of fair hearing, such conviction goes to no issue. So that is why I'm saying uh, I respect the National Working Committee of the party so much. And I am still wondering why those procedures we are not adhered to. I, uh, in, in line with what our leader, uh, his excellency, is saying, that he was never invited or questioned or, or about, uh, before that uh, suspension. Okay. We would like to be specific. Can you share with us what section of PDP constitution that talks about this um, this uh, disciplinary actions, actions and how 
suspension to be taken. We want to be specific so that people will understand. If you go to chapter 10 of the PDP constitution, however, the one I'm using here is 2012. It's still the same thing with uh, the provision in the letter constitution. Chapter 10 of it, disciplinary procedure. If you read uh, sec, um, subsection 4 of section 57, subsection 4 to get to 6, you see where the procedure is clearly stated. You must, as a matter of, it is a must that you must invite the, the member or the person who you wanted to suspend. Let him know the case, the reason why you want to suspend him. Let him defend himself. That is the principle of a fair hearing. This is in tandem with the provision of uh, Section 36 of the Nigerian Constitution. It still is the same thing. You must observe the principle of fair hearing. Without the principle observing that, or without adhering to that uh, principle, whatever you are doing is a nullity. Thank you, sir.